My priesthood began on June 17th of 06 at 6 p.m. I had gone to the Holy Land in honor, in memory of my father who had passed away two years prior. And during that pilgrimage, I got to know the spiritual guide of the trip, Father Michael Davis, a little flower of Coral Gables pastor. And after Mass, I shook his hand, but this time he pulled my arm in, he pulled me in close and whispered, consider the priesthood. And those three words changed my life. I entered Mass that evening um, with a career, owning a home, great outlook on life and thinking about retirement, and with a girlfriend. Life was set and I couldn't be happier at that moment. But when Father Davis told me to consider the priesthood, it made sense to me suddenly why I had not been married yet, despite my many girlfriends in the past, but never got to that point of being engaged or, or getting married. So I researched. Right away I got on Google. What should I expect if I'm being called to the priesthood? What should I do to respond to the call and not miss it? After several years of discernment, of prayer, of being guided by a spiritual director, I finally entered the seminary. So prior to entering seminary, I spent 21 years as a firefighter and paramedic for Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. It was a beautiful career. I couldn't think of anything better or to make me happier than to save somebody's lives, than to have somebody in cardiac arrest one day, and then a week or two later, they come to the station with their families to say things to us. And that for us was the biggest paycheck, if you will. My seminary experience was interesting. It wasn't the most common one because I'm one of the older uh, seminarians. So a lot of my classmates, I could be their father. But I adapted. I adapted. I knew that I'm doing the Lord's will, that these, the occasional um, setback here and there, the occasional doubt, by the grace of God, will be overcome. And now some of my best friends, I could be their father. Actually, some of my best friends, their parents are my age. My favorite hobby all my life literally has been aviation. Since I was maybe a two or three year old child, I've seen pictures of myself playing with airplanes or with a, you know, airplane toys and whatnot. Later, I became a pilot. So I'm a pilot as a hobby. That is a place where I just completely feel relaxed. Um, I love flying. Uh, whenever I fly commercially, I ask for the window seat so I can look out and see what's happening. And um, that's what I do whenever I can. It's not easy with seminary with time and whatnot. It's what I do when I can. My anticipation for ordination day is finally responding to the people, fulfilling what they ask of the priest. I've been asked uh, to hear confessions, to celebrate mass if I can, people not knowing what my status is, you know, deacon or just seminarian to finally say I can hear confession, to finally share God's mercy, the mercy that he is anxious to give to others, that I can be one of his priests to dispense that mercy to his people who are seeking it, to evangelize others, to celebrate the Mass, and serve the people that have been entrusted to me, what I call a very sweet burden, and fulfill that for Jesus Christ. This is Deacon Elkin Sierra joyfully inviting you to join us at St. Mary's Cathedral for our priesthood ordination on the morning of May 11th. Or it will be on live stream at MiamiArch.org and other platforms of social media. Thank you for your prayers. Hope to see you there.